dog walker, man. You know what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get her, man. Let's let's get her today. If I can, man, I tell you, if I could get five dollars every time I see this bitch, man, I would have some money. Straight up. If I can get five dollars, man, every time, every time I see this bitch, if I can get five dollars, man, every time. Ching 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 ching. You man, we we talking about a hundred dollars a day. <laughs> Real. Hey buddy, buddy, here he come. Buddy, buddy, coming again. So I said, uh, I see him looking and shit. I said, let me go ahead and get him. Let me go ahead and get this one of my um. I gotta I gotta think of a name for this guy. Uh, dirty, dirty stalker. Cause I don't think this dude right here take a bath. You know what I'm saying? Call him Dirt Ball Stalker. This is the Dirt Ball Stalker. You know what I mean? Call him Dirt Ball. You know what I mean? If you if you look at my previous videos, man, he on all my videos. <laughs> dirt Ball. Like I'm Dirt Ball. That's his that's his new name, y'all. So whenever y'all check, check, check it out, two stalkers walk past each other. <laughs> two stalkers walk past each other. Hey, dirt ball, what you in there doing, dirt ball? You ain't buying no food, man. You ain't got no money. Use a dirt ball. Pay gang stalking ain't paying your damn bills. You ain't making no money, dirt ball. Dirt ball stalker. Check out, check out the one headlight on the truck. Broad daylight too. You know what I mean? One headlight on the truck right there. That's a nice ass truck too. Hey yo, peep game. It's Martin Luther King Day. Why this grown ass man got a book bag on? You know what I mean? Book. You know I me mean? backpacks I done seen so far today. I've been outside for about what three hours, four hours maybe. Not probably like three and a half. I done seen a whole bunch of um, backpacks. Dirt ball still inside. He in there perpetrating. He hoping that. Look at that. We got another one headlighter right there. Another one headlighter right there, man. Let's believe when I say that this is orchestrated, it is orchestrated. Cause um, you know, all my coworkers, they all gaslighters and stalkers inside. Gaslighters. Boom boom. Doom, 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 doom. Remember that? Remember that joint back in the weird science? Doom, 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 doom. Weird. I'm gonna change the chain remix of gas lighters. Doom, 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 doom. Gas lighters. It's science. Shit. That's what we're in. We are in. We're we're living in some weird science. You know what I mean? I should write a poem or something on that shit. Do a rap song on weird science. We're definitely living in the in the age of weird science. They done took technology and ran with it. They experimenting on all of us. So you could think that, oh man, I don't I ain't got to worry about gang stalking because that shit don't apply to me. That shit don't apply to me, man. I ain't being gang. All right, well, that's cool. Cause guess what? Guess what? Once upon a time, DB didn't know what was going on. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Once upon a time, I wouldn't. I, this shit wasn't so blatant. It wasn't. It wasn't blatant in my face. You know what I mean? It wasn't blatant. See the girl. See the girl playing with her little bun bun. Oh, you want to make sure she 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 take the hood off when she get in front of me and play with her hair. Oh. Weird science. Boom boom. Boom 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 boom. boom. Like I said, man, ain't nobody exempt from this shit. Not even the stalkers. Can I get a? No, no, there. These stalkers think they're gonna get away with it. These stalkers think that okay, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and ride with them, and I'll be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and be on their side. Look at Donkey Butt. I call her Donkey Butt right there. That Donkey Butt. That's Donkey Butt Stalker. Oh, he right here. Yeah, I need money. He sent this clown. Oh, he right here. Yeah, I need money. He sent this clown.
to send this clown over here to ask me. <laughs> Did you see? I hope I got the gesture, man. <laughs> I'm dropping off this food right here to this clown. They two, they two gang stalkers, you know what I'm saying? Matter, man. What's up, bro? Mm -hmm. Take care. Thank you. Uh -huh. These stalkers, man. These stalkers retarded. And and look, at the same time, this is what they want you to become. They want you to become that, y'all. A loser. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want. They want you to be a loser like this nigga. Don't this nigga look like a loser? You know what I'm saying? Look at that, he's gone. You want to send this nigga no sense so he could do his pointing ass, stupid ass hand gesture and shit. Tomorrow, oh, you looking for that house? It goes all rigged. He gonna walk up out of nowhere and tomorrow, oh, you looking for this house right here? It's right there. Like, get the fuck out of here, you dumbass. Like, who sent you? Like, it's all staged. This person right here, like I said, I tell you this all the time. I do, I, I do this shit every day. This person that I just delivered the food to is a gang stalker. The kind of trash man comes out, right, right, right synchronized right with me. Waiting on me. These motherfuckers literally wait on me. Now everybody coming. The bus. The cars. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to tell you is that... What I'm trying to tell you is that... Uh, I go through this shit every day. The person that ordered the food. Look, we got another car with a sticker on it. That's a... Nice, that's a what's that? A, a Ford Fusion Hybrid? That's crazy, boy. They be just throwing away fucking cars. But anyway, what I'm trying to tell you, man, the people, the house that I go to are stalkers. They the ones that do the call. And then when they do the call, they have other, other fucking stupid ass people, stalkers, come out and perform the show right, right along with them. So the dude just comes out of nowhere tomorrow. You looking for this house right here? How the fuck do he know what house I'm looking for? You see what I'm saying? So that right there lets you know it's all rigged. It's all stages and nothing. It's nothing but a setup king campaign going on with the gang stalking know what I mean and they want you in fear they want y'all motherfuckers thinking it's a supernatural you know spiritual you know battle and all this you know and it's just a stupid ass fucking game that they playing with you and they trying to spook you the fuck out this team is jumping into these people and they're out of their mind well I, I agree with that they're out of their mind you know we already know that we already know motherfuckers under mind control that's all done by the CIA, the FBI, you know what I'm saying? That's your fucking government doing that shit. Look at the technology that they got. I don't know why that, I don't even know why that's far, that sounds far-fetched to some of y'all people. Some of y'all people, man, that sounds far-fetched. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to believe that they got technology that can take over your mind. They got technology, I was just reading a book last night. They, they got technology that they can, they can, they can alter your moods and your, and your, and your, uh, your, your, your thinking patterns with your with your consent and without your consent. You know what I mean? So that means they could do it if you if you consent to it or even if you don't consent to it. They can tap into your brain and alter your motherfucking thinking and alter your moods. You know what I'm saying? Look at the cell phones you got. That's just that's just a little chip off the iceberg. You know what I'm saying? They ain't giving you all the technology. They don't want you to have it. You know what I'm saying? They they show you in the movies that they got it though. That's what they do. They show you in the movies. But you don't believe it. You think it's just a movie. These people got high technology, man. What the, what the black thoughts say? They got high power lenses on the cameras outside. They hear you when you whistle, rinse, or troll. They say they got high power lenses on the cameras outside. It ain't nowhere to run. It ain't hardly nowhere to hide. They hear you when you whistle, rinse, or try to keep quiet. You don't even realize that you the twinkle in the all CNI. You the twink on the all C and I. This is all done for you. This is a show going on for you. You the special one. These people don't care about money. Everybody, oh, it's about money, it's about money, it's about money. These motherfuckers don't give a damn about money. They spend billions of dollars on lab rats. Just to, just, just to experience. They do experiments. Look at the truck guy. Look at, look at just sitting in the way. Then you see how close he got to get though? Now, this is all the time. We got another agent trying to hurt him get to me real quick. Look at him, he, he, try, he trying his best to come over. <laughs> Better luck next time, buddy. 
You a little too slow, buddy. But this is about true. They spend uh, that money they know is paper. They print that shit. They got a machine. Y'all forget. They got a money making machine. They print money. They wipe their ass with it. It's about you. They taking your blood. They taking all your DNA. They 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 shooting. They shooting poisoning you the moment you come out your mother's womb. The moment the moment you come out your mother's womb, they trying to poison you and inject you, and and then they then they say, oh, it's for your good. It's it's to protect you and strengthen up your immune system, and you you just believe the shit. You just believe it. Oh, well, the doctor says it. Gotta be true. He ain't gonna lie to me. But you don't even read your Bible. The Bible even tells you that Satan can appear as an angel of light. You know what I'm saying? So what the fuck? You can't be just believing these people. See, see, at the time, you gotta understand, I was once in the Matrix too. I pretty much, I pretty much passed them. That's what it was. I outgrew. I outgrew my, you know, the the mo most shit. I outgrew all my women. It's like I was always on some, you know. I should have just been single back then, and you know what I mean. That's why it's, it's good to be single, y'all. It's good to be single, man. You know, work on yourself. Find out who you is. Find out who you are before you tie down to a spouse, whether you male or female or whatever. You know what I mean? You know, find out who you are, man, because. Because if you got a special calling on your life, you can be you can you can find yourself being tied down with somebody, and um, you know raise the family and everything, and started a family, or whatever, and now you outgrow this particular person. I got a one headlight right behind me, of course, but um, but you outgrow this particular person, and now y'all not even together no more because you see things one thing one way and. And she see things, or he see things, or another way. So, and that's why the scripture says, "Don't be unequally yoked." And what that mean? That means because Paul wrote that, and that means um, you're not going to get along with each other. Y'all be fussing and fighting. You can't have, you know, you can't have a, a Muslim and a Christian together. One talking about Allah, one talking about Jesus. You know what I mean, it's going to be confusion in the house. So that's why you gotta be um, on the same page. Can't be unequally yoked. You said I'm a man gotta stick his nose all out. <laughs> like they do that. They do that, man. When you see the same patterns over and over and over, you start to realize, okay, it's just this game, you know, that they all intentionally doing. Take my man right here with the red book bag trying to cross the street. You know what I mean? You know, he wanna get close. You know, it's all about now he coming on my side, you know. He coming on my side. We got the red ambulance right here. We got a bunch of just stage people that's around me. Yeah, you look, you will never understand this until you are going through it. When you become the target, then I will no longer sound crazy to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you, once you become the target, you start seeing shit like this every day, all day. You know, you'll understand. You know, you pay attention, and, and guess what? Like I said before, and I said again, you too will know when you are being gang stalked because they will let you know. You will see the same old patterns and the same old routines and the same old gestures every fucking this dude right here with the red pants. You think that's by coincidence? No, this is all by design. These motherfuckers got me on some type of app or some shit, and they just tracked me down. They come wherever I'm at. This is a this is an unmarked vehicle right here. It looks like it. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. This is real life, man. This is real. This is my real life Truman show. This is my real life Truman show, man. And that and with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, man. Destination. Check this dude out.